Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. You can see from my table I've been busy, busy girl. Um, so I've been doing some alcohol inks today and I wasn't going to film this, but then I was like, well, I might as well film it and show them how I'm doing them. So I am doing an alcohol ink uh, coffee cup or tea cup. Um, I have a couple different sizes. Um, I did one here. It's not totally dry yet, um, but you can see came out really cool um, so I you have to seal these and there's a few different ways you can seal them you can spray them definitely with a UV protector um, and a um, like a triple thick Krylon triple thick and I also use the archival Krylon UV archival uh, varnish um, you could hand varnish these with a um, Mod Podge, make it a dishwasher safe uh, one. You could brush it on. You could resin this. If you have a turner, a cup turner, um, it'll be a little tricky around the handle, but you could do it. Um, I have a cup turner. I'd make tumblers, um, but I don't think I'm going to resin these. I think I'm just going to... Um, spray them okay so I'm gonna put that one out of the way for now I'll show you how I spray it um, after I do this part these are really pretty quick and easy to do um, so you have to get a plain white cup I'll look, link down in the description where I got my cups from they're inexpensive okay so what you want to do is you want to make sure your cup is clean so I'm just wiping it down with some alcohol I have 99% isopropyl alcohol. Clean them up. Just in case there's any oils from your fingers or what have you, little pieces of dust. Just clean it off and let it dry. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple different colors today, I think. I'm gonna do the black, the Tim Holtz Ranger Black pitch black and I'm also going to use the Ranger Wild Rose on this cup and then I will put in either I think I'm going to put in the gold because I always like the brass this is the brass and that's Ranger I'm sorry that's pinata um, I also I have a silver but I don't think I want to do silver I'm going to do the gold all right so let's get started on this real quick all right so there's a couple ways you can apply it you can apply it with a brush or you can just drip it on this one I just dripped it on where I wanted it spread it out you need a little bit of alcohol to let it move around um, I think this one came out nice though but uh, I think on this one I'm gonna do the I have a little cup I'm gonna do the paintbrush so I have a little cup here and I'm just gonna put in some of my I probably need two cups so I need the two cups so get these cups out I'm gonna put in some black and some of the pl wild plum Let's see how these two look together all right and uh, I'll put a little alcohol in a cup too some alcohol okay the brass I'll just dab on I also have my alcohol in a little squeeze bottle all right so all right so let's get started I'm just gonna dry this with my hair dryer in case the alcohol all right. all right so I'm gonna put on a little of the plum first I'm just going to paint it on. I hope you can see. Let me bring the camera down a little closer. There. Okay. All right, 
and I'm gonna wipe my brush off, put a little alcohol on my brush, wipe that plum off. Although I want the colors to mix anyway, so I'm gonna put a little black on there. in the color. And then I have this little blower. I'm just going to blow it. kind of and I want these lines in it I've never done it this way so I've only just tried poured it all so this is a first for me with you Oops. Okay. I want the colors to kind of bleed into one another a little bit of alcohol on my brush and wipe it off clean it off and I'm just gonna put a little alcohol here and I'm just dabbing it because I want some kind of cool effects
sorry phone call camera went off all right so anyway um i think i'm about done there's a little area in here that i want to get but i'll just use the paintbrush so i don't make too much of a mess I like the handle actually it looks pretty I like that some of the pink turned into like a plum purpley color this looks pretty I could probably blend it a little bit more here and I think I'm going to taking a little of the brass see if I can get some in there probably okay this is good the beauty of these I mean they don't take all that long to do and for the most part they're inexpensive to do so they're not going to be perfect um, they're art art is not perfect as many of you know um, but this looks pretty good. I think it's really pretty. Okay. And I'll clean up any areas that I think need to be cleaned. Like right there. Right? I like the handle with the little bit of the blue coming up. This is pretty. Sorry, I'm holding it. <laughs> I'm trying to look at it from afar. I like it. Might wanna, right here, I'm not, see, see I'm too picky sometimes when it comes to this. Like, I'm worried about underneath the darn handle. I'm just cursed. Where's my alcohol? color up there. So, make sure this is, I'm not going to be, I'm going to dry it. Love that area right there. 
Next time I'm going to try blowing it around more with the dryer. Alright. Alright, so that's all for that one. I'm going to show you how I... I'm just going to... There's a little spot here that I don't like. And I know I can get it later. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to take this off. If I can get it out. There we go. And I'll put that aside. But there it is. Alright, and I'll put my... I'll sign it down on the bottom. I'll put my initials down there. Uh, but it looks pretty good. And fairly easy to do. Um... And then I'm just going to be spraying them and they'll be ready to sell. Um, all right, so this blue baby, let's move this stuff aside so I don't make a big mess. All right, although my table is such a mess right now. All right, so let's put the handle in there it's just easier for me to work with especially when i'm spraying now i really should be going outside to spray this but for video purposes i'm going to do it right here in my studio i'll wear my mask oh jeez. um i have a respirator mask i'll put that on so i can spray it so first i'm going to spray it so first i'm going to spray it with this the uv um, matte finish archival and this is for the UV protection so we'll get one coat of that um, and then I'm gonna have to let that dry so um, let that dry and then I will hit it with the triple thick clear crystal clear by Krylon and that'll give the shine all right so I'm gonna do that real quick put my mask on okay Do this one and you want to make sure it's not much left in this one oh gosh that's right this all spot that I wanted to clean up Ooh. got it Sure you get the underneath and the bottom okay so that's all on that one so that will take a few minutes to dry I'm gonna go stand it up I have a little rack where this will stand up and dry um, but I do have one I'm gonna show it to you that I did already that's totally done if I can get it hold on a second Actually, it's not totally done. I only did the the UV coat. So I got to actually, I'll spray this one with the shiny coat. So this was a coffee mug, kind of travel mug. Same deal um, with purples and gold. Look how pretty that is right there. But this is dry. This had the U RV, yeah, UV archival on it. And I'm just going to spray it with this one. And let me put my mask back on. Okay. okay. About six inches away. Okay, who that one smells bad. This one. Alright, so that's it. 
um, this will dry and it'll be done. Um, you can do, you can, uh, I wouldn't put these in the dishwasher when I sell them. I would tell the people to hand wash only. Um, again, you can get the Mod Podge clear sealer that's um, dishwasher safe, but I wouldn't do that. So these are easy to do, fun to do, quick little project, um, probably a good project to do with kids. Um, and yeah, that's it. So. All right. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm doing a giveaway. That's only till next week. So I, this may air after that. But anyway, I hit a thousand subscribers and I did, I did a little giveaway and um, I'm not sure if this video will air before the giveaway is over or not. All right. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye bye. So real quick, I'll show you before I um, spray this one, I will put my initials right on the bottom with this Sharpie. Okay. I'll probably need to do that again because you can barely see it. But you really don't need to see it. There we go. Yes. Okay. Let that dry. All right. That's it. Bye.